Welcome to DigiSonic Focus. This video shows how you can use DigiSonic Focus app to equalize a pair of headphones to match your individual hearing. The result is accurate timbre and frontal localization without head tracking. The app uses an equal loudness listening test to measure your personal eardrum spectrum from a frontal source, and a second test to measure the eardrum spectrum from your headphones. The app then calculates the equalization that matches the headphones to you. We have demonstrated the app to recording engineers, hearing scientists, music lovers, and students at conferences and universities all over the world. They all agree we've got to have it. You can download the DG Sonic Focus app from the Apple Play Store or Google Play. DG Sonic Focus uses a reference loudspeaker and a hearing test to uniquely match your favorite headphones to you. A mini speaker can work well as a reference, although other speaker types are also okay. If you use a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones, pair them to your phone before you open the DG Sonic Focus app. They will connect automatically when you turn them on. Be sure you stop the app before you change the Bluetooth settings and then turn it back on. No data will be lost. DG Sonic Focus has three easy steps. First, use the phone to measure and adjust a loudspeaker to be frequency flat. Any speaker, mono or stereo, large or small, will do. This is an advantage of the iPhone because the microphone in the iPhone is frequency flat and the app was adapted to make it very easy to equalize a speaker using that mic. Second, while listening to the speaker, adjust the loudness of third octave noise bands to match a reference band at 500 Hertz. Third, repeat the loudness matching adjustments while wearing the headphones under test. The app will equalize the headphone to match the spectrum of the reference speaker at your eardrums. Music played through these calibrated headphones sounds frontal and outside the head, and also very beautiful, typically. We support iPhone, Android, Windows, Mac, VST3, and AAX. Once you have completed the tests, you can port your unique data to any of the other apps. This is the main screen. This is where we equalize the speaker test our ears, and equalize our headphones. The app has storage for four different headphones and a crosstalk cancellation system. This video will show you how to use the headphone functions. Go to the Setup tab. Enable the device input. Ignore the feedback warning. Later, you can use the input to play music from an external source through USB. Then enter names for the listener, the speaker, and the headphones under test. Step 1. Equalizing your reference speaker. In the main tab, check the test speaker box. That's the one on top. The plus minus buttons in the mode adjust section control the equalizer that will make the speaker frequency linear. Use the plus minus buttons to set all the equalizer frequencies to 0 dB, which is the default, and then click the test button. Hold the phone with the microphone, which is in the charging port with an iPhone, about 18 inches in front of your test speaker. With an Android phone, you may need a frequency flat or calibrated microphone like the Thumbtacks micro microphone shown below on a Samsung 7. Click the test button. The speaker will play the 500 Hz noise band. The sound level will display in the upper right corner. Use the volume control on the side of the phone to set the level to about minus 20 decibels. While holding the phone in the same position, use the equalizer level and frequency band buttons to make the frequencies between 500 Hz and 16 kHz all have the same level within 
plus or minus a dB and a half. When you are done, check all the frequencies again to be sure they're all still about a decibel or so the same. Bravo! You've equalized your reference speaker. Unclick the test button. You can now use the player to play stereo music through the equalized speaker. To do this, go to the settings page and set the input source to player. A new tab, player, will now appear to play a track. You can hear the difference by playing a music track and clicking the bypass button in the main screen. Step two, it's time to test your hearing. Select the test ears box, that's the one in the middle. Check that the equalizer levels are zero dB again and set the frequency to 500 Hertz. Put your head in the same spot you used to measure the speaker and click test. The 500 Hertz noise band will play through the speaker. Adjust the volume on the side of your phone or device to a comfortable listening level. Then click the frequency band up. The noise bands will alternate once a second between 500 Hertz and 630 Hertz. Use the level plus minus buttons to make the 630 Hertz noise sound the same loudness as the 500 Hertz noise. Then similarly, make all the upper bands equally loud as best you can. The alternation in frequency between the test noise band and the reference noise band is very important in an equal loudness test. If the tones do not alternate in frequency, the automatic gain control circuitry in the hearing apparatus will do its best to make them all sound equal loud, and there's no way for you to actually measure your personal hearing. Making loudness comparisons may seem difficult at first, but extensive research on equal loudness measurement finds that almost everyone can reliably repeat these decisions with an accuracy of about a dB and a half. When you've gone up to the upper limit of your hearing, go back down and check your results. Our equalizer uses a mathematical function to reduce the interaction between frequency bands but it is a good idea to check the results you've found. The second try is almost always more accurate. It is now possible to test frequencies below 500 Hertz. However, testing your ears below 500 Hertz with a small speaker is problematic. But individual variations in perceived loudness below 500 Hertz are minimal. If your speaker will go lower than 500 Hertz, you can try making equal loudness measurements but it will probably not improve the result. Human hearing becomes less sensitive by about six decibels per octave below 100 hertz. If you attempt equal loudness at 20 hertz, you would require a speaker that was louder by 14 dB than it is at 100 hertz, and this is foolish. We can adjust the bass in the headphones by listening to music or by using a standard equal loudness curve. Step three, now we can test your headphones. Power down your speaker and turn on the headphones. They will connect to the app if you previously paired them. Check the test run binaural system box, which is the one on the bottom, and select the headphone you want to test. Adjusting the headphones for equal loudness. Set the equalizer dB values to zero again, the default, and the frequency to 500 Hz. Click the testing button. The 500 Hz band will play through the headphones. Adjust the volume for a level similar to the speaker during the speaker equal loudness test. Repeat the equal loudness test while listening to the headphones, but this time Use the left-right balance control at the bottom of the equalizer to center the noise bands. The left button moves the sound left, the right button moves the sound right. Using the balance control in this way will correct for differences between your two ears and may correct some types of hearing loss. Now go up in frequency 
while adjusting all the bands for equal loudness. Then go back down and check your adjustments. When you are satisfied, test the frequencies below 500 Hz. Human hearing becomes less sensitive below 100 Hz, so I make the 80 Hz band in headphones about 2 dB less than equal loudness. The 63 Hz band about 4 dB less and the 50 Hz band about 6 decibels less. If you like heavy bass, you can adjust the level of the lower bands to your taste. Congratulations, you are done. You can view your results in the Graph tab. Unclick the Test button and listen. Play some music. In the Setup tab, set Input Source to Player. Check the Player tab, add a track, highlight it to play, and push Play or Resume. The Surround On button. With Surround On, the image you hear in the headphones spans plus or minus 90 degrees of frontal azimuth. If you click Stereo On, the frontal image in your headphones is closer to the sound of a mix with stereo speakers. The global slider can be used to make the level of the music the same as with the bypass level. Enjoy listening through DG Sonic Focus for headphones. Your headphones sound now has frontal, out of head imaging with natural timbre and clarity. It is uniquely matched to you by you. Instructions for using the crosstalk canceling system for playing music or binaural recordings without individual equalization is described in the About tab and on dgsonicfocus.com. VST3 and AAX versions can be calibrated and paired with a head tracker for the ultimate experience.